good day! Today we're gonna talk about my survival tips. I play this game in normal many many times and in survival I have to play through one before the next game of day and, and I just finish uh, the second one after the next game of day. From the wiki you can see the difference and here the There are all the main differences. And I'm gonna give you some tips. But before I get into the tips, I will tell you some creation club that it really makes this easier to get through. So the first uh, creation club that I use also in normal mode is a modular backpack. It, it, it will increase your carbon weight and it give you some protection, even radiation protection if you model. Um, the second one, which I also use in normal mode, is the Sentinel Companion. Sentinel Companion, it behaves exactly the same as a normal. If he get taken down, he will get back after that particular battle in that location finishes. So you don't need to uh, heal it, you don't need to worry about him, and he's a total accident. So Sentinel Companion is even more important in survival than in normal. And the other one, which I recommend, which I don't use in normal, I got it, I tried, I, I didn't like the looks. So in normal, I don't use it, but <laughs> I found that the survival is, is important. It's a Doom, doom Classic uh, Marine Album because it's a creation that gets deposited in your inventory right after you leave the board. And it will give you a decent resistance and will help you to transition between the normal mode and the survival mode. In the survival mode, you have to be more stealthy and you, you, you get amazed how easy you can be taken down. I was surprised at the beginning how easy. I tried to do it without this armor. <laughs> I was not uh, progressing much, I was dying. But with this armor, it helped me to get through to the initial. So let's go with my first tip. My first tip, is you need intelligence, at least seven. Because with intelligence, at least seven, you will have access to this case, rank one. You can have intelligence, seven, uh, you can start with intelligence six when you design your character and, and when you pick the special book, you take it to seven. And then, you can make antibiotics, which are very important to have. You can buy them, but they are expensive. And they are not always, you see, I'm getting fatigue. And, and, and they are not always available. So this, you need a rank one of the chemist, which is a level seven of intelligence. And the same with this refreshing beverage. And this, uh, you can buy it, and you can loot it, and you can make them. But this one, you only can make them. And, and, and this is uh, life. 
like a magic beverage. It takes the rats off, it heals you, either uh, it gives you water. It's, it's, it's very important. So, the way you, or the way I recommend you go with your bergs, you start with the Grand One Kevin's, then six, because you can build the industrial water purifier, which is gonna be your funding, And then the long wandering. Because at the beginning of the game, you are gonna be with uh, dot meat. So in the first two levels, it, it will give you, uh, increase your courage way, and also, which is important because here, the ammunition weight, and that is the main difference. So if you fail, you, you can get overcome with the normal game. Well, here, you need really carry weight. So the long wonder provides extra carry weight, also uh, extra damage resistance in the first two levels. And in the third, it gives uh, more uh, damage output. And the last one gives you more uh, action points, but in the first one it, it will give you more carry weight and more damage, damage resistance. And the next one is a bloody mess. So, you know, I recommend go at least with Karima 6, by the way, so you can put the local leader. So that's another one, uh, Intelligence 7 and Charisma 6. And at least to be able to get the bloody mess. So lock 3, because the bloody mess increases the damage to all the weapons. The shotgun, the rifle. And the next one you need to punch is the right, uh, rifle. In the stealth mode, I'm able to take down enemies from afar. It's a very key. You only take enemies uh, close range uh, when you don't have any other option, when they basically uh, ambush you. Uh, and for that you will need a shotgun, but uh, the rifle will increase the damage of the rifle. And for the shotgun, the bloody mess will do it. And the local leader, your settlements, are able to uh, join the settlement and share the resources will be important. But more important is able to, to build a medic in your settlement. That will be your first station and you will need a rank one of the local leader and rank one of the medic to put a doctor in your settlement. So those are the, the main the initial way you move your perk. As I mentioned, you need to, to play stealth. Will be the next one, I already mentioned it. And the way you progress, you start in Sanctuary. Uh, you need to uh, 
go here, here you can pick. Uh, fat and uh, some fusion cove and from there you can pick uh, there is a uh, between these two there is a power arbor not a full power arbor but it's a random how many pieces you can get. If you are lucky, you can get almost the, the whole set. If no, you at least want to get maybe the torso. So there is a bet here. Here you can pick another mini nuke. And what is important, there is a magazine that increase your stealth. So you're right here. Take the enemies outside, which is easy with your power arm. Inside there is a, a mini boss, but he has a mini gun. Stuff, you can take it down with your Molotov cocktails. That's the way I look, normal use. Sometimes it's not easy. And in survival, he, he, he's a smart, a bit smarter. But you sleep. There is a bed outside. You sleep, save the game, and you try now. You try as many times you need to get that guy down. Because in there, there is a key you need to find where you can open a room and get another mini nuke and the, uh, the magazine. That mean, mini nuke, I mean, you, you only need one mini nuke if you use buff jet to take down the, the deck cloth in Concord to free uh, Preston Garden. But you, if you don't take buff jet or psycho jet as a drug, <laughs> then you will need two mini nukes to take down that uh, that clock. Anyways, in Avernati you can get more food, tatos to put in sanctuary. Um, there is a whiskey which allow you to hear in an unmarked location here, which are essential. Another important thing is get the trash can. Uh, Trascan Carla, the way she normally is here in this road that got to the Drumlin Diner. If you go down and meet her and talk to her, then she will appear in Sanctuary and then you can buy stuff there. So the idea at the beginning is try to have money, so you need to increase your charisma with these uh, great mentors. <coughs> I use another creation club, a t shirt, which is auction, which, if you get this creation club, then these t shirts, they are loot all over the places. And that increases your charisma as you work by two. There is a room here. As a, 
Mantras, Cancarla, you put this here, you can see many vendors. There you need to do a, a quest in, in the Bunker Hill to get that access to that. You know that if you are playing the normal. Well here, oh by the way, this fountains, which it comes from the you have the Vaulted Workshop DLC, they're very handy to hydrate or to fill empty bottle to fire, it will fill you with uh, water purifier. So in this cellar, in Santuary, there are here, there are three gold bars that it can go the price from 400 caps to I don't remember exactly depending on your charisma it varies the price but they are valuable and they don't weigh too much having opened this of the skill when I came here uh, and you loot everything that is in here okay so my next tip is to do the brotherhood or the skill uh, uh, still Quest line until no mercy, including no mercy. He will give you access to these vertebrates. Um, that will help you to do fast travel in the main map. Knowing the DLCs, unfortunately. But at least in the main map. Um, they're leaving. Because you're gonna be playing stealthy. able to get this uh, ballistic wave from the railroad it will be helpful even the hat you can give a resistance with a ballistic wave in this case is uh, maximum Um, I, I bought this in Santuary with money for the other I got it all the rest I got it except this one this and the chest I bought it for the rest I got it from drops fighting enemies. Um, so the right road, to do the right road until BAM jackpot mission, it gives access to the ballistic wing. So those basically are my tips.